It's your time, go forward, <laughs> bring it back. Cause your boy or your brother, your mom, them are together, however you go, ever and ever after. Ah. <sighs> Jesus Christ, how did you get in here? How, how long have you been standing there? Ugh, it's a good thing I always shower fully clothed. So, I guess you're here for part 3 of my Ever After High video series, huh? If you're new here, I am truly sorry for that weird intro. My name is Octodron, and welcome to my video. In this video, your darling host came up with quite a daring idea. I made these charming designs using my de dexterous hands. This time I'm redesigning the charming siblings, Daring, Dexter, and Darling. My goal with these designs was to hit a balance between fashion and fantasy. Was I successful? Guess you'll have to keep watching till the end of the video to find out, hehe. <laughs> Let's start with the oldest son of King Charming, Daring Charming. Daring is courageous and confident, but he acts a bit himboish sometimes. Most of the time. He is very vain and infatuated with himself. He loves to look at himself in the mirror, and if he's ever upset, he can be calmed down in that very way. He is always there to help a damsel in distress, possibly by sheer luck. I don't think there's much canonical depth to his character, but I think he is a very silly guy and I like him a lot. Look at him, not a thought in his eyes. Love that for him. Also. <laughs> His doll has sculpted jeans, which I think is very funny. Can't even bend his legs, poor boy. Let me tell you, I was fighting for my life coming up with his design. In the end, it turned out more as like a adjustment of his original design than a redesign. I lengthened his design. His design. I lengthened his hair and cropped his Laramin jacket. I also gave him like high-waisted jeans for a more 90s silhouette. I also gave him a turtleneck with layered necklaces. I made him look more 80s slash 90s-ish because I hate men's fashion. The ideal modern male silhouette is literally a rectangle. No fun layering. I hate it. And that's why when I have a guy character who doesn't wear like Femme clothes 24-7, I dress him in vintage fashion. Anyways, you might notice the gaudy pendant on his necklace. I thought it'd be kind of a royal crest. I wanted to connect the siblings' designs through little motifs, because I knew that they were all gonna have pretty different aesthetics. Ergo, I gave them all moles slash beauty marks and blue color in their hair. Which is an idea inspired by Tumblr user Capitan Kopi, who has really good Ever After High read designs. Go check him out after this video. I try to add some references to the French nobility, cause Darling has a lot of Rococo inspiration. There wasn't much with that that I could do with Daring's design. Yeah. That was pretty much all I have to say about this design. See you once the speed pain ends. Moving on to charming number two, Dexter. Here's a fun fact. Dexter is short for dexterous. I really don't like how King Charming named his kids. Why are Darling and Daring's names so close together? My dad mixes up me and my sister's names all the time and they sound like nothing alike. Also, I get naming twin similar things, not that I like, like that but they aren't even twins. Also, do not let that distract you from the fact that Dexter is a nickname for Dexterous. 
dexterous. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, Dexter. I'm gonna be honest. As a kid, I never liked Dexter. I think I was just annoyed by shy characters, which is weird because I've never been much of a people person myself. Maybe I don't like the only thing he like ever did on screen was crush on Raven? I don't know. I don't think he's a bad character or anything. He's a really sweet and empathetic guy. I just find it hard to shake off the grudges I have against fictional characters. Dexter's original design is not helping his case any. His original look was steeped in 2013 fashion. It makes me feel like ill. His infinity scarf, his dork glasses, the way he tucks his pants into his high top converse. Even something about his shirt and jacket takes me to my dark past. Ugh. Hopefully, through the power of redesigning, I can end this feud. I took a lot of inspiration from, like, the silhouette of 18th century French nobility mixed with 70s men's fashion. I gave him an ascot as a reference to his original scarf. I kept his glasses the same. I put the crest I made onto his pocket jacket alongside pins with references to games and movies I think he'd like. I think he'd be a bit of a film bro, but he won't be like stuck up about it. I'm gonna leave until it's finished. BRB. Here he is, I guess. Let's wrap this up with a character I like, Darling Charming. Darling is very interesting to me. I think I stopped watching or like at least paying attention to the show by the time she showed up, but I think she's really cool regardless. She is brave and adventurous. I think it's fun she's like the Wonderland White Knight, but according to her diary, she hasn't been doing it for very long. Like, a semester at most. However, it's clear she's always wanted to be a hero. I'm glad she's like, living her dream, or maybe not. I'm not a lore expert. Anyways, I think out of the charming siblings, she's the most suited to be a prince. For her redesign, I took the Rococo motifs in her original design and ran with them. I want to have like a combination of masculine and feminine 18th century French fashion in her design. I kept her hair poof and gave her more like defined ringlets, like one of those Victorian dolls. I gave her breeches and long socks, along with cute little dress sho shoes with bows. She has a corset inspired by candy makeup artist porcelain corsets on top of a plain dress shirt. I gave her big gloves to keep her fingers from callousing from all the sword fighting and such. She has a choker with the family crest on it. To make her design a bit more interesting, I gave her a half skirt bustle thing fashioned after 18th century French dresses. It's probably removable, so it doesn't get in the way during battle. I'm not sure if this outfit is really practical at all for fighting, but I think it looks cool and that's what counts. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now and you're gonna watch the rest of the speed paint. Or you could skip to the end. I'm not your mom.
Ta-da! Here she is! The girl of all time. And here are the other Charmings, and now the rest of the cast. There's a lot of them. I'm sorry if, like, during this video I've been a bit more negative than usual. It's been a bit of a rough patch with my mental and physical health, but I'm getting through it. And I think a lot of that is thanks to your really sweet comments and stuff you left on my previous videos. They really make my day whenever I read them. And I try my best to respond to them. I'm sorry if I don't respond to you. Or if your comment gets deleted, apparently that can happen. But, yeah. Also, I have like 270 subscribers now. It's crazy. Also, I want to do a celebration once we hit 300 subscribers. If I did like a draw this in your style, would y'all be interested? Um, or if you have any other ideas for what a good celebration would be, please like let me know. Or if you have any other video ideas. Well, I do like these Ever After High videos, I don't want to only make them. You know, I have. I have OCs. I have interests. Uh, let me know if you want to hear about them. Well, that's all I have for today. Don't forget to octa like and squid scribe. Bye bye and best fishes!